the Mawlid celebration of the Prophet's birthday. For instance, a man asked in the Sahih collection, a man asked the Prophet about fasting on Monday. And he said, Fihi wuriddu. That's his answer. It's a good day. I, it's a blessed day. I was born on that day. We know that in the Sahih collection also that Abu Lahab, his punishment is, is actually lessened because he freed Thuwaiba on, on uh, his, the girl that brought him the news of the Prophet's birthday was freed. Abu Lahab was so happy that his, uh, his uh, brother had a son that he said, uh, you're free, anti hurra. So he freed the, the girl. And the Prophet said because of that, because of his being happy of the Prophet's birthday, don't say I don't celebrate the birthday. Because that's actually, that could be kufr. Just, the Prophet said people will say, Ruba ahadikum yulqi yatakallamu bi karimatan la yulqi laha bala. Maybe one of you will say a word, he doesn't think of what it really means. It will drag him in the hellfire for 70 uh, years. Because he doesn't think of what it means. To, so to say, I don't celebrate the birthday of the Prophet, I mean, what, what do you mean you don't celebrate his birthday? You have to. It's a fard to be happy he was born. If you don't celebrate it on that specific day, as a, like I'm going to on the 12th of Rabi'ah, oh, well, that's fine. That's a khilaf issue. The dominant opinion is it's permissible uh, and mandub to do it, it's recommended. The other opinion is that it's an innovation and it's better not to do it, which is, that's a, that's a valid opinion. Um, the problem is we accept their differences, they don't accept our differences. So what, what, what can we do about it?